But I became very bullish, you know, sometimes in late 2022 and especially in late 2023. Because during this time right here, I came to a realization that, you know, we've been dropping for the, you know, basically 12, 18 months. And because, you know, Bitcoin was finally turning around, it was time to start building a position. And in October of last year, when Jasmine, for the first time, you know, broke above the 21 weekly moving average, I was extremely bullish. And we spent, you know, many weeks above the 21 weekly moving average. And then in early February, all right, in early February, guys, when Jasmine was pulling back to the 21 weekly moving average right here, I was even more bullish. And I was talking about that if Jasmine can hold on to this 21 weekly moving average, you know, we were going to see a major move. And that's exactly what the last couple of weeks delivered. All right. These are videos that are available on my YouTube, guys. You don't have a right to spend a lot of time, you know, searching for them. All you got to do is just go back to the month of February. And I'm talking about early, early February. So this is about two months ago right here. All right. And after this, we are absolutely done. Excuse me. This is about three months ago. All right. These are updates that you can. So right here, guys, All right? these are things that I was talking about literally you know, a couple months ago. And those that watch the video, but not only watch the video, but execute it. You know, you look at Jasmine right now. I mean, it is up over 300 percent since, you know, these updates right here. This is right here, guys. I was talking about, you know, Jasmine retesting the 21, you know, EMA. And again, you look at the comments. You look at the comments right here, guys. When you say there's nothing to worry about, you realize you are just exposing yourself as a shield. All right. Just look at the comments. You know, it's comments like this where I'm like, all right, am I doing something wrong or is this person you know, looking at the market differently. And it's perfectly fine because we're looking at the same market. We just have, you know, different interpretation, but it's comments like this where I'm like, okay, do you know exactly what's going on? Uh, do you know exactly how markets work? And if not, you know, it's perfectly fine. Just take some time and, you know, educate yourself. But, this is from, you know, when Jasmine, I mean, I want you guys to take a look at this. Look at the price of Jasmine, guys. 0591. And I was talking about, yo, there is nothing to worry about. You should actually be a buyer. And I was showing you the ones who break this resistance right here. This thing is going, is going to go crazy. All right. So fast forward, 0591, 0591, ladies and gentlemen, it's right down here. 0591 is right down here. Let me show you what 0591 is. It's right here. All right. If you are, if you got in a position back then, you know, that position is up 216%. So it's the same conversation that we're having right now. All right. It's exactly the same conversation. These are the best times to build a position. It's not easy. And when you have, if, if you got in at the wrong time and you're down, I completely get it. You know, you're looking at some random dude on YouTube, you know, talking about how bullish this thing is, but you're down about 30, 40%. It's understandable, guys. But that's why timing is very important. You know, timing is very important. Doing research, being patient, and timing is very important. So these are the updates. Uh, these are the updates from the last two months. But so many more updates from the last, you know, 12, 24 months. So anyways, you look at, you know, some of my recent, you know, Jasmine updates, you know, I do have one right here and there's a comment and guys, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these comments, but I just want to make sure I'm highlighting, you know, something and make sure we all can, you know, learn from it. You know, there's a comment right here. I think right here, I think this is the video right here. No, it's not this one. Uh, it's this one right here. All right. Really nice comment. Uh, 
constructive, you know, feedback is what is what my interpretation is. Uh, it's not this one, so I think it's the one right before that. So bum bum bum. So it's gotta be this one right here. All right, like a beautiful comment, but I'm like, all right, so all right, okay. Oh, actually, I know which one it is. I know which one it is. So it is this one right here. This is the video right here, guys. It's not this one. All right, this is the one right here. All right, again, it's nothing wrong with it. All right, not every, let's say, yeah, not everyone has money to continue to buy the dip. Of course, completely get it. All right, completely get it. But beautiful comment. You know, you guys can check it out yourself. But then at the same time, I'm like, I think we're looking at two different things. And I think our time horizon is too different. It's very different. You know, maybe you're trading, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, if you're trading, you have to operate, you know, with different set of rules. But if you are a long-term holder, I mean, I'm telling you guys right now, you know, I am telling you guys right now, once this is over, and pretty soon this is going to be over, listen, you know, we look back and, you know, I think I'm going to be right. You know, I think, I mean, it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong. You know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but I think the probabilities of the price of Jasmine going up is, you know, up there. Uh, and I apologize, guys. And you know, I think I just spent the last 20 minutes, you know, talking about Jasmine. Uh, that was not my intent. But it's one of those things that you know, I really want to make sure that I'm highlighting. Because, you know, you guys... Listen, if you want to make it in this market, let's say you want to do a 10x. You can do a 10x if you're taking profits after doing a 2x. You also can do a, two, a, a 10x if you... If you're overreacting or, you know, if you're losing your mind, you know, after going down 20 or 30 percent, you know, if you're in the cryptocurrency market, there's one thing, right? There's one thing that you can't avoid unless you're day trading or unless you're taking profits, you know, regularly. And the one thing that you can't avoid is, you know, being down on a position like that. It's it's not it's not a bug, guys. It's a feature. And I don't want to say it's a bug. It is actually a feature. If you are in this market and you really, really want to make it, you know, being down a couple percentage, and it's not a couple percentage, like very big percentage. It's part of the game, right? It is part of the game. Uh, the homework that you have to do is, you know, understand how this market tends to operate. Uh, try to look at past performance. You know, look at the volatility, right? Look at the volatility. I'll give you guys an example, and then, you know, I'm going to take some time to go over, you know, some of your old coins. You know, Solana was the biggest performer in the last bull market, right? Solana, a big performer in the last bull market. But imagine, you know, giving the same update I'm giving right now, you know, when Solana went down 80%, right? Like, imagine, you know, giving the same update in early 2021, when Solana had gone from $4 to $0.99, cents, you know, talking to a bunch of you know, people on YouTube and try to explain what was actually happening. And I guarantee you, you know, during this time right here, like people were freaking out. People were freaking out during this pullback. But those that understood, you know, technical analysis, those that understood, you know, what a knob trend is and how a knob trend looks like, like these were the greatest times, all right, to build a position. Because once this pullback was over, I mean, Solana went on, going all the way up, you know, 229,000 percent, guys, excuse me, 23,000 percent, 23,000 percent after this 80 percent pullback. And I'm telling you right now, despite the 80 percent drop, there was no reason. All right. There was no reason to get out of Solana. And you know why? It's because this was a higher low. This was nothing more than a higher low right here, guys. If you look up what an uptrend looks like, you know, I've showed you guys this picture the other day. And, you know, for some of you guys, yeah, you don't need to see this because you know exactly what an uptrend looks like. But, you know, let's pretend that we are all beginners and we are trying to learn, you know, technical analysis. And this is, you know, something that we have not seen before. All right. This is what an uptrend looks like, guys. All right, look at this pullback right here. Does this look like something we have right here? 
I think so. All right, look at this pullback. This is Solana's pullback right here. And I want you to take a look at what a pullback looks like. All right, look at the pullback. And there was another pullback right here. And let me show you Solana. There was another pullback right here. But this is a classic uptrend. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. All right, this is what a, what a classic uptrend looks like.